Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys how I made my 2015 intro because I received so many comments like dude what effects do you use, what is the song, uh, can you make a tutorial about how to make this and first of all actually now the tutorial is here. This is the 2015 outro so I'm going to show you guys right now what kind of intro I'm talking about. So that is requested by so many people. So I thought like, okay, I have, I have like an open spot. I'm just gonna, you know, explain my um, intro I made, I used in 2015, the spear roll and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And actually, if you want to download this template with all the effects like I use, check out the description. There is an ad fly link and you just, you can skip an ad after five seconds and then you can download it. It's just a media fire link. You can download it straight to your PC and you can open it in Sony Vegas and customize it. And actually, actually you can do whatever you want with it. So let's don't waste any time here and let's get started. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, we're on the intro and I'm going to show you guys actually the intro right now with audio. So let's see what it sounds like and looks like. And then whoosh and then the video starts this is that was my intro of 20 uh, 2015 and guys please watch this video to the end because i'm going to cover everything from this from the music you know how i matched it how to edit your own name how to apply this color correction what those effects are i don't know i don't care how video how long this video is going to be for loyal people thank you guys for watching this video to, until the end so you can actually exactly know how i made this okay so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know remove all the effects that i used so first of all i used this this effect this is what you only see you know the light that's called light leaks this is what I put over the video that's actually an effect by itself uh, so you can see this one the yellow one that is the first one and then that was it from that kind of effect so next what next we're gonna move on to the actual intro uh, let's see what it looks like only by itself You see, no text, whatever in the middle, as you can see right there, no text. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to go to this little icon, this event pan crop. And I'm going to actually, you know, disable all the effects I used. And take a look at the preview screen, guys. Everything changing. And this is how I downloaded this intro. This was what I originally looked like without any effects. Boom, that was my intro. Yeah, that was my intro. And I thought like, I don't know, I don't want to use this blue. It, it doesn't really fit my channels like this light blue. I want to have something really cool. What I did is I throw some effects on it. And first of all, I'm going to enable the light rays. Let's see how that looks, what that looks like. As you can see, the edges are like a little black. As you can see, the difference between this and this. I'm just going to enable the light rays like this. Boom, let me see what it sounds like or what it looks like. Boom, that's how it looks with the light rays. Now I'm going to apply the color correction. Check out this, what I'm, what's going to happen. Boom, make it a lot of more uh, flashy as you guys can see. First of all, if you guys want to uh, have the exact same settings, you don't need to copy everything and don't you don't need to pause the video and write everything down right here because actually this is all included. Everything for you is also included in the download link in the description. So if you download that folder and you do exactly the same thing, you're going to see those color correction and light rays. So you don't need to copy this. This is all included in the video or in, you know, in, in the Vegas project. So I'm just going to enable my color corrector. Boom. That makes it a little bit more orange and see how it looks like with a few effects applied. Boom. Now I'm going to apply the last color corrector. That's going to make a pretty big difference though. Now I'm going to add the gradient map. As you can see, that makes a lot of difference. And I'm just going to uh, play back the video right now and see how it looks. This is with the effects, only the color grading and all that stuff. Boom. 
boom, look, looks pretty cool. And now I'm just gonna enable those effects, as you can see, those flashy ones. And then basically, the next thing is what you have is my intro. That was up. And basically, okay, let's move on to the audio. Actually, wait, 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 no, 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 one second. I'm not gonna move to the audio yet. Actually, as you guys can see, it says your channel name. Don't worry, guys, you can edit this. Uh, just click on this little icon, this one, generated media, click on this, and then you see your channel name. And let's say you have a gaming channel and you just wanna call this blank gaming. Boom, you can type in your name right there. And then at the bottom, this little URL, as you can see, this is that's the, that's the top one. Also, you want to click on that, and then you can just um, you can write down your slogan or your YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash blank gaming gaming, for example. And as you can see, you have your own customized intro. So I just you know put it like this: your channel name between brackets, so you guys can actually customize it yourself. So let's move on to the audio. And I used actually the song I used is um and it's a NCS release, no copyright sounds. The song is Entropy by. Alex Grindo and some other guy. This is what I did. I just, I'm just gonna show you guys. So actually it drops, it drops like right here. But I just cut it like right where it started. So it's, there's a build up. So I cut it exactly when that piece started. So right here. Right there. And then what I just did is set my marker right there. Boom, and play it back. Until I don't hear, don't until I don't hear any, you know, other parts of the music, and that's it. When I, I press S, boom, and I now I have just this. That's what I did. I just, you know, dragged in the entire song and just made it smaller. You guys always hear that the drop is always there, and that's the end. I'm gonna show you guys like what it sounds like, and I just, you know, make the song longer, actually. That's basically the song that I, if you play it back like longer. So what I did is I just, you know, um, cut it like right here, as you can see. Doosh. Boom. And on that moment, I go, I went, I cut back from, you know, the end of the song, like right here, this one. Doosh. I cut that part away, boom, like this, and then we have this. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go, you want to, you know, put those over each other so you have like a crossfade, and you just want to match it so that's on time and how that sounds. So check out, I'm just going to match the sound real quick. This is exactly how I did it. So let's see. A bit more. That, look, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. That's basically it. And if you get those away, you will have this one. And then the other one. If you combine those together, it looks. It sounds like this. That's basically my intro, guys. It's that simple, and you, now you can go ahead and, you know, make this your own. And guys, be sure, I don't care if you use, like, the exact same music or the exact same outro with, just with a different name. I don't care, dude. I mean, I just used this intro because I liked it, and I'm not, like, looking at one. He, like, he stole my intro. No, he was inspired by my intro. That's basically, you know... Um, what I think about it. So go ahead and use this intro. You can use the exact same effects that I use. I don't care, dude. Go ahead. You have fun with it. That's basically how I made my intro. And in the upcoming weeks, I'll be uploading uh, on Wednesday a sort of Vegas at all where I uh, talk about my 2016 intro. You know, the, the one that started at the beginning of this video. <laughs> Thank you
So that's all coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And that's how simple it is. That's how simple it is, guys. It's that easy. And uh, I hope you guys are now satisfied with this video so you guys finally know how I made this video. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the new series where I'm going to react to my uh, subscribers' videos. I see a lot of people asking, like, dude, can you give me advice or check, check out my channel? Everything is coming soon, guys. Don't worry. I'll, I'll be taking a look at all of your channels. I'm actually pretty curious what videos my subscribers make because it's not only about me. It's about them as well. About you guys, actually, what videos you make. I'm, I'm kind of curious. I'm just gonna, you know, get myself into that series pretty soon. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for two of those videos every day. Every day at 3.30 and 5.30 p.m. Thank you guys and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing is that you don't want to do in your car, playing around with your cell phone. Drop comments down below and I'll be more happy to make a video about my own clothing line through the description down below. Even if you're not a subscriber correctly and quickly, Twitter and verification process, you can find a link down below. I'm done with this kind of shit. Opportunity is there. As long as you guys keep watching my videos, I will keep making them.